Indies. The hot discussion is water and tourism. The main speaker is Professor Melville Seyman, who is the Director of Research in Tourism at the Northwest University. He took us through some of his talking points of his lecture. There are two things that, that I think is important. One is the, the value and importance of, of, of water for tourism and then also the value of, of water for communities because these are integrated. So I was just merely highlighting the importance and what can be done or what should be done in order to, you, uh, to provide better services to communities and to tourists alike. The lecture is interactive with guests, some of whom are tourism students. Responding well to Professor Neyman's lecture. I guess the lecture today was very, very, very helpful in educating us about how important water is for the tourism industry as no operation can actually function without it. I think um, attending this conference is very insightful and I think it is very important for us to take this information, especially being in an educational um, environment, to teach our friends, um, our fellow family and also the pupils that we educate. It was quite an eye-opener. Um, what they touched on is the importance of water and water scarcity and how we need to start um, raising an awareness in the tourism industry, specifically in the accommodation sector, to implement strategies on how to minimize the wastefulness of water, as well as research. There's a lot of research that is still needed within the tourism industry regarding water, water usage in accommodations. According to Professor's lecture, some of the solutions to water scarcity is engagement with all stakeholders and ensuring that everyone does their bit to save water. I think, especially at, at, at municipal level, we need to have an incentive program, a training program for, for people working and understanding why and what they do in terms of water service delivery. Because as I said, it's not just the tourists that are, that are suffering because if there is no proper water, it's also communities. Uh, and I also think that we need to have some kind of an awareness program to make general citizens aware of the importance of water, to conserve water, and from the industry point of view, how can we actually create awareness for tourists? So if you come to South Africa, if you go to an establishment that you know that this is a water scarce country and we need to look at, at, at our water resources, we need to conserve water. By the end of the lecture, the message was clear. Water is precious and a scarce commodity in South Africa. Save as much as you can. Smooth Shela, SBC News, at the University of Northwest.